Once more. Dude, R.I.P. Little Richard, man. I don't. I that little move I just did right there reminded me of Little Richard, and then it made me think of that. So I thought I'd say it real quick. Just get that right out of the way, right off the beginning of the podcast. Just started off on a real bum note. Uh, yeah, cool. So it's supposed to be a happy, fun podcast, and you know what? It's cool. I'm just gonna start it off on a real bum note with somebody dead. But you know what? Um, he deserved to be recognized. You know, deserves to be recognized, dude. Uh, can't believe he was, he was like a, like a, wasn't he like a preacher or something like that before, um, dude, before anything that he did or whatever, he was a preacher, right? Before he was, he was a musician. He was like a, one of those like Baptist, like really intense preachers. And that's why he, um, I don't know, was so good at doing the wow, you know, type things, man. He was, dude, he would get down, dude, he would get down, you know, um, Dude, yeah, RIP that dude, man. That's sad. You know, I hope his family was doing all right. I feel like he probably, I don't know his age. Hang on, let me look, let me look at his age. Because uh, otherwise, I don't want to sound like an asshole if he was like actually super young. But, uh, you know, I was just going to say, I feel like he lived a long life. You know, not that any life is, uh, you know, you're never ready to lose somebody. But, um, yeah, wow, man. Wow, he was born in the 30s. Dude, the crazy I dude, I just heard the craziest thing the other day, by the way. I just heard the fact that freaking Alright, this might ruin your day, but you know what? I can't I can't be in control of you know your mental state. You know, I am here to deliver the facts like the news. You know, I am your only um you know, unadulterated news source. That's what I'm here for. And um the reality is, is that I can't control how you feel about them. Okay, I'm like the opposite of news, dude. I'm gonna tell you what is happening, and then you could your feelings. Oh, I'm sorry, your feelings. That's not something I'm here to help with. Um, actually, you know, I'm here to talk if you want to talk or just listen to me. You know, whatever. Anyways, dude, all I'm trying to say is, is that I'm not a licensed therapist. If you didn't know, I'm not a licensed therapist, and um, what you do need to know is that. Um, literature passed away and then i literally forgot everything else other than that but um oh yeah okay um r.i.p little richard also um 1990 is as far away as 2050 so sorry if that just ruined your day um it kind of ruined mine when i heard it uh because it made me feel super old and you know I don't know. It's just life is passing by and we are doing nothing sitting in a room by ourselves. Uh, uh, dude, yeah. So that's how I feel. Uh, those notes, d specifically in a row, if you uh, decode them, they tell you how I feel. How you guys doing, man? You doing okay? You holding on? Hold on. Dude, there's certain catchphrases in this life that, like, if you say them long enough to yourself by yourself in the shower, you might just cry. One of them is hold on. <laughs> may or may not have been saying that to myself at one point, you know, this week in the shower just by myself. Just singing a song that had the lyric hold on in it. And I was like, yo. Are these tears or are these just the just the water droplets from the shower? I don't know. When no one needs to know. And that's the reality of being a man in America. Um. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Anyways, didn't think I would, didn't think I would get there. But you know what? We started out today at the at night version of this podcast. Okay, so um we started out on the at night version so you just this is what you get immediately right off the bat change the lighting in the studio don't know if you're watching it don't know if you're just listening to it but if you're listening to it uh just know that it looks even better and you could be watching it on youtube if you wanted to but you're not and that's okay you know maybe you're driving and you're being safe and i would rather you be safe honestly than uh you know watch it you know 
I, I am so good looking that like I know you're missing out and you're really taking a hit by not, you know? Um, and so like, I really appreciate your sacrifice, you know, um, stay home, stay safe. You know, that's all I'm trying to say. Um, but also if you're in your car, you're not staying home. So, but you know, groceries are a thing, you know, you still got to get groceries. So maybe you're getting groceries and you're, um, you know, you're not looking at my beautiful face and you're not looking at my face because you know, you know, you're trying to be safe. I don't know. You know, I don't know what you're doing with your day while you listen to this. You know, maybe this is years later in the future and I'm so insanely famous, you know, and you're just going through my archives, you know, and I don't even, I don't, I have some producers at this point and maybe I don't even know. Maybe I don't even know, dude. I, th not maybe I don't even know. I definitely don't know. That's the reality of the situation. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm TikTok famous by now. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe I'm already TikTok famous, and at this point, like, you're just re listening to this, and this is from the future, you know? You're listening from the future, and I'm already TikTok famous. Apparently, it's not that hard to be TikTok famous, and that's what I... Dude, dude, I'm on there, dude. I'm on there. I'm I'm, I'm not dancing or anything like that, because I don't do that, but um, I'm doing stuff, so catch me on TikTok, dude. Uh, dude, I'm making funny videos. I made a funny video about going, cost going to Costco again the other day on there, because I went to Costco again. So that's real life. Went to Costco for sure again. Uh, did I stress out uh, during it? A little less, actually. Kind of weird how normal it's getting. Um, but that's reality. So still wore my mask. Still was very safe. But uh, felt a little less stressed in the Costco run this time. Actually went to Costco on Mother's Day. So that was a real thing. That was, had to be yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Because today is Monday and I can do math. Uh, yeah, I went to Costco. So that was cool. Uh... Man, did I have a stress purchase? Dude, I think I actually legit got through Costco without a stress purchase, which is like, hooray for me. Um, I bet you at some point during this, I will remember what my actual stress purchase was. Oh, you know what? Because my stress purchase, here we go. This this week on stress purchases. Um, yeah, so this week on stress, 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 per <sighs> this week on stress, per just, uh, dude. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. I can't speak. Um, I may have already had a stroke at this point after crying in the shower. Don't really know. Hopefully didn't. Don't know, though. Can't know for sure. Won't know for sure for um, until in the future whether I'm TikTok famous or not. Okay. Anyways, um, the reality is, is that my stress purchase, I did have a stress purchase this week and this week on stress pur purchases. God bless it. I can't say it, dude. I can't. Okay. This week on stress purchases. There it is. Okay. This week on stress purchases. Not saying it again. Okay. Uh, I did buy something. And it was kind of... Here's the thing. Usually the stress purchases are just a bunch of little items. And I don't know if this is a symptom of the stress purchases getting worse. Or whether... Mm, I don't know if it's getting worse, dude. I don't know. I have no way to gauge anything at this point. I have no barometer. Nothing like this has ever occurred in any of our lives before, so we don't know what to do. All we know is that things are happening, and we're doing our best. And my best this week was not buying any stress purchases at Costco this week, but this week's stress purchase Amazon haul actually also had to do with Ikea. Uh, so... so Spoiler alert, um, it had to do partly with Ikea and partly with Amazon and I bought myself a new desk. So, um, you know, uh, bought myself a new desk. Did I need a desk? Do I currently have a desk right now? Um, that's all, that's all for debate. You know, um, it's really how you look at it. Uh, is the desk going to be helpful? Yes, for sure. Uh, did I need it? You know? Is it a better desk? Probably. I think so. I think so. Um, do we know, though? Can you even really know that type of thing, you know? Um, I think it's going to be better. I think it's going to look really cool in this space, and I really, I just wanted a new one. I've had the desk that I'm sitting at for, like, dude, I don't even know. Probably, like, dude, a long time. Probably three, four, maybe five years. Probably five years I've had this desk. It served me well, um, but dude, it's, dude, did not make the cut. 
because of COVID and I got stressed and I had to buy something. So I bought myself a desk. Uh, anyway, uh, I bought a desk and dude, it's going to be sick though. I'm going to do like a whole Ikea hack desk thing. Cause I don't know about you guys. Does anybody else have like weird, like obsessions on YouTube? One of my absolute obsessions on YouTube is desk setups. I don't, it's like kind of like a ohm. I I skirt the word fetish with that. Kind of weird. I don't know why though. I just love it. I love it, dude. I could I could watch hours of people with their desk setups. I'm like, ah, oh, you used a fully uh, automated, uh, you know. By the way, fully isn't even. It's a fully automated. It's fully is a brand. That's something that I know of desk. A fully is a brand of desk, and I know brands of desks because I love desk setup videos. What kind of actual nerd am I? Dude, I've about lost my mind, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I'm not even, dude, at this point, I've graduated from being the guy on the front of the car, and I'm not even on the front of the car anymore. I am like, yeah, I'm driving the car now, and I don't know where I'm going, but that's where I'm at. Every week it's upgraded. At first, I was on, I was I was was not sure where I was gonna go because the world was currently ending and I wasn't losing my mind in, mind in time in lockstep with everybody else, and then at this point. I've lost my mind. It's gone. Uh, psh, where is it? Then no. Um, but it's gone, and um, for sure it's gone. I don't know where to ever get it back again. If I will ever have it back again, and I probably won't. And um, I was on the front of the car last week, and now at this point, I'm maybe spear guy number three. I'm definitely, I'm definitely on board now. I'm not. I, you don't need to strap me on this car for me to be on the car. I'm on the crazy car, dude. <laughs> I'm on the crazy car and I'm in and I'm, I'm ready. I, maybe I'm spear guy number three. I don't know if I'm like the guy, you know, with the spear on the side of the car. Am I driving the car? I don't know where I'm at yet, but I'm, you don't have to, I'll make my clothes out of some sort of like plastic bag or whatever they make their clothes out of, dude. I don't know. I'll make it out of whatever I'm in. My hair's already looking like that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, Literally, my my first note from my podcast today, the literally the first note that I put down that usually I self sabotage myself in the notes because I write things that make no sense at all. Uh, my first note is Moses hair. You want to know why? Because I'm growing. I'm growing a uh, dude again. If you're driving and you're listening to this and you're not actually watching this, I'm very sorry for you. I really wish that you could see my ruggedly handsome face. But I appreciate the hit that you're taking for society and by keeping us all safe by not looking at podcast, video podcasts, um, you know, videos and stuff like while you're driving, that's really safe. But if you if you are watching this, just know that I got like a full on weird beard situation going on. And dude, it's a quarantine beard, man. And that's a thing. And I didn't think that I would get to the quarantine beard place of this. And uh, I've arrived. I've arrived. Other people were like, I'm going to grow a quarantine beard. And I'm like, dude, pff, that ain't going to last, dude. You're going to get tired of that and you're not going to want to do it. And that's a dumb idea. That was my mindset. And then now I'm like, yo, how's it looking? You know, I'm more, <laughs> dude, I'm weeks in. I'm trimming this up on the side. I'm committed, dude. I'm, co I'm, that's when you know I'm committed to a beard when I'm actually trying to trim it, when it's not just like mange, like a, like an animal, like some sort of mangy animal. It's a legit, um, you know, beard, I guess it's not even legit. I don't have a legit beard. I'm not one of those guys with like a twirly mustache, but I mean, you can see it from far away. So it's not just like, does he have something on his face? Is his face dirty? He's like, no, he's got a beard. Uh, yeah. And apparently I'm doing that now because you know, what else is there to do? But how else do you keep track of the days, but by the hair growth on your face, ah, it feels like months. Uh, dude, that's where I'm at is that I'm full on castaway status at this point. Lost it, I'm gone. Uh, yeah. Consider shaving my head a few times at this point. Is that? <laughs> that sounds like actually legit insane. <laughs> like just threw that out so casually, but like that's been bouncing around my brain for like a while now. I literally just have been like, dude, what if I just freaking shave my head? so many times at this point and i don't even like myself that the the crazy part about that is that i actually hate the way i look with a shaved head and i've thought about doing it oh dude i've come so close so close so many times at this point and i genuinely hate the way i look with a shaved head i think i look like a crazy egg person and uh dude 
but I'm so close to doing it. And why? Because self-sabotage and, and insanity in this in this quarantine. That's what's happening. I've almost shaved my head. But I will. What if I shaved my head and then also kept the Moses beard? You know what I'm saying? That, you know, because then, I don't know. I would look like one of those guys with a shaved head and a beard. I don't I don't know what, what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. That's the reality. But um, I'm going to grow this beard until I'm, I'm literally going to grow my Moses, my Moses beard until we're allowed to leave because let my people go. Let my people go. COVID-19. COVID-19 is like, is like Pharaoh and my beard is like Moses and I will grow this beard until I have the power to stop it. And that's all I'm trying to say. That is what I'm trying to say about the Moses beard is that I'm going to grow this beard until I let my people go. COVID-19. Mm, that is it. Okay. Pharaoh. Let my people go. Dude. Anyways, totally lost my mind. Released a track last week though. So that was cool. Um, if I, I feel like people really received that one, well, which is kind of cool. I feel like each one people have been kind of like a little bit more into it. Um, which is kind of kind of cool um, for two reasons. One, I actually planned it somewhat that way. Like I plan, I put the songs that I thought were better towards the end of the releases because I wanted to. Because I thought that you know I would actually know what I'm doing by then. I still know what I'm doing, but a little bit I know what I'm doing. Kind of not really, but I have a routine. I don't know what I'm doing, but I have a routine. That is probably a number one. What's well, like the second catchphrase of quarantine? Weekends don't hit like they used to. Is the number one quarantine catchphrase. And if you're not using it, use it. Feel free to use it. I don't care. It's I, no copyright. Okay, go ahead. Weekends don't hit like they used to. That is the catchphrase for COVID nineteen quarantine. Now, also the other thing that is the second one is um. I don't know what I'm doing, but I have a routine, which is almost as good that's like almost a life catchphrase but also definitely a quarantine catchphrase you don't know what you're doing every day but you're trying to have some stuff you probably have some sort of routine by now and that's almost as good as knowing what you're doing dude that's where i'm at with everything in life but including these music releases uh, I'm just trying to stay on I mean, all, all my stuff, dude, all the, this podcast has been, I'd said that last week, it's been super helpful to just have something that I need to do every week, not need to, but self-imposed, obviously. I mean, no one's making me do this. Um, <laughs> he's, he, he laughed and looked off screen. Uh, no, <laughs> nah, no one's making me do this, dude. I like doing it. I genuinely like doing it, but also on top of that, it's been really cool. Like having someone, I've said this a few times, like having someone I have to do every week show up, I have to show up to this place on Monday. I got to record it and it comes up by Wednesday, period. That's what happens. So, um, that's been really nice, especially for, I don't, I don't, I might not work for a while, man. Like legit jobs, like a real job. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know this, but I don't have ads on this podcast, so therefore I don't make money doing this podcast. Um, so <laughs> shocker, uh, your boy's unemployed. Uh, no, but um, no, I don't make money doing this yet. Um, that's the goal eventually, but yes, the more. Um, yeah, but you know, eventually, maybe who knows? When I'm TikTok famous, I will make money doing social media stuff. You know, gotta be TikTok famous first. Um, yeah, my dogs, but. What was I even talking about? Oh, yeah. I was talking about how I don't make money. <laughs> no, I was <laughs> so casual. No, I'm talking about how I, I'm unemployed from some of this stuff, including, um, you know, just like some other people are, you know, from this whole uh, thing, this whole COVID thing, you know. <laughs> I don't know if you heard of it. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, legit. Um, yeah, so, you know, and because I work in the, in, like, I work in, I hate to say it like that. I'm sounding so douchey, but I work in the industry, you know, touring and stuff like that. And part of the reason why I can't do that is because of COVID. So there really isn't, I mean, everybody's kind of not doing anything right now. You know, it's not like, yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but nobody's going to concerts. Uh, so that's a thing. Eventually, who knows, man? And who knows when that all, honestly, that's probably one of the weirdest things about what I do is that like concerts and stuff like that and playing music. So like both what I do for fun and both, <laughs> that's only part of the reason why I'm losing my mind. Both what I do for fun typically, which is play shows or go to shows. Um, and also what I do for work, which is work shows. Um, uh, both things are canceled. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Both things are canceled. Both my job and my hobbies are canceled. So I started a podcast. So here we go. Hi, how's it going? This is once more feeling, once more feeling podcast. 
Can't even say my own podcast name. Once more with feeling podcast. It's all good. Can't say my own podcast name. All right. You know, that's where we're at. I'm growing a Moses beard. I'm going to gain the power of Moses through my beard, through prayer and through, you know, I'm, you know, going to pray uh, and I'm going to grow my beard and maybe find a staff somewhere. I don't know. That'd be, dude, how dope would that be though? Actually having a staff? Uh, that would be pretty dope. Maybe that'll be my next thing to do in between these podcasts, make a staff. You know what I mean? Just like one of those, you know, he had like a crate. Didn't he? He had one with a snake on the top, right? Cause he was like, you know, yeah. So that'd be cool. Like a staff with a snake and a big old beard, but I'd probably shave my head by then. I'm telling you, dude, I don't, I might shave my head. I If I come back next week with a shaved head, just, you know, I don't know. Send help. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, do but if you're just listening, you'll never know. So you'll never know. I won't say it, but I'm definitely guy number three with a spear. Uh, one, in one hand, I have a spear and the other hand I have a, I have a, um, on the car. I'm a guy on the car with a spear and also, um, dude, in the other hand, I have, I have a spear in one hand and I have a staff in the other hand. Staff, oh, you know, staff, spear. Oh, oh. Dude, how about, how, dude, that would look badass, man. I mean, I feel like it functionally wouldn't work in a fight at all. Like you'd have to discard one of them. You can't use both. You can't, that's two huge sticks and it doesn't work. But um, it'd look cool, you know? What if I like stuck the, stuck the, you know, staff in the ground? I'm doing a whole fight scene in my head not right now with a, with a guy with a staff and a spear and it doesn't work at all. Uh, you got to get rid of one of them for sure. From everything I know from Kung Fu movies, you got to get rid of one of those weapons. It's too many, too many weapons. Uh, Yeah. But you know, I don't know, man. I'm just saying. Maybe I'll whittle myself a maybe I'll whittle myself a staff. Definitely growing the Moses beard. So that's reality. Um, might shave my head. Uh, yeah. But you know, if I do it, it'll be for TikTok. And uh, when I shave my head on TikTok, then I'll be in. I'll TikTok famous. You know. And then from there, you know, I'll have producers on this podcast because I'll be so famous that you know, people will be coming out of the woodwork to work with me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what can I say? No, nah, but it's going to happen though. Dude, TikTok is crazy. I I don't get it cuz like uh, you know, some people on TikTok they just like there's these like there's these men. Like I get when a girl does, like this is whatever, dude. I don't care. You want to sit here and do whatever. You want to sit here and talk about me about how this is going to sound maybe sexist. I don't know. You could take anything any kind of way. If you want to take it that kind of way, take it that way. But honestly, like I kind of get why girls like, you know, can be famous for just like going like, "Hey, yeah yeah like on a camera on tiktok or something like doing a dance or something in a bikini or something like that i get that like i get how that works because girls want to be them and guys like looking at them and therefore that that is how that works and there's a lot of creepy guys on the internet and a lot of creepy guys on the internet will sit there and follow all these chicks and dm them every freaking day until they think that something's gonna happen when nothing really happens but they think they have a shot uh which they don't but you know they think they do and so i get how that works right but like on tiktok there's a legitimate community of guys who just i want i say guys they're really boys they're really little boys uh who just also dance with their shirts off or they don't even the other thing is they don't even dance i feel like such a pedo talking about this but I, i'm not a pedo i just you scroll and you see stuff and i you see things you wish you couldn't see on tiktok but you know what it is what it is but I, you see this like a like a 15 16 year old boy with his shirt off and a chain and a middle part and he's like uh, oh yeah and like that's it that's the video and he's got a million followers and he's 15 dude I mean, I don't even know what I would do with myself if I was 15 and I had that many followers. Like, what would you, like, if I was 15 and I had that kind of fame, that's why, like, honestly, I used to, I used to talk ish on a lot of, like, younger celebrities and then I got a little older and then I realized, you know what, because I was jealous because I was their age too and I was always like, that'd be cool if I was famous for the music and stuff I made and then I realized that I didn't have anything like that. So I would get jealous. But then I look back and I'm like, dude, what would you even do if you were Justin Bieber, dude? Like, what would you, like, everyone wants to talk crap about, like, how he was a little, like, he was a little crap, you know, when he was a little younger and whatever. And now he's actually pretty dope from what I could see. I, what if you, you don't know these people. They're all just on, on online and stuff like that. But from what I can see, I, I, I kind of like his persona now, right? 
Maybe he just did a really good rebranding. Maybe he is a jerk. I don't know him. I don't really know him. I'd be cool to know him. Don't know him. Uh, anyways, he seems cool, though. He seems like he's, like, you know, following Christ and doing all that stuff, which is kind of dope. Um, but, you know, don't know him. Uh, but he obviously used to get in trouble and stuff like that when he was younger. But what would you do if you had, like, a, a gazillion dollars and you were, like, 15 years old? I don't even know what I'd do with myself. It's like, you, here's the thing. That's that's most people's end game, and he achieved it at 15. So what do you do at that point? You know what I'm saying? Like, most people worked their whole life to achieve what he achieved at 15, which you call it luck, call it whatever you want to call it. He already achieved it. So what do you do? You know, like, existential dread is a real thing, and I feel it without having any sort of success. So I can only imagine how I would feel. And why are we psychoanalyzing Justin Bieber? It's because this is the psychoanalyzation truth and feelings podcast with Renee Marino, where we psychoanalyze movies and we psychoanalyze celebrities. That's what we do. No, but for real though, I don't know what I would do if I was like one of those. I say that now I'm 26, but like, I'm, ooh, oh, just out of myself. Ooh, just out of myself as an old person. I feel old. I feel like when I say I'm 26, I feel like I'm 47,000 years old. That's what I feel like. Doesn't uh, doesn't help that like my entire body is falling apart. Um, that's dramatic. I, I don't have like anything terrible, like some sort of like disease. I just like for some reason am injury prone and, and whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah, I got a bad knee, bad an ankle, and I'm 26. It's all good. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know, I feel like an old man all the time. Also, in my mindset, I feel like an old crotchety old man. I've been a crotchety old man since I was like freaking 10, maybe younger. Uh, I've been a crotchety old man since I was 10 years old. So, yeah, I've been like bedging my button inside my mind. Uh, yeah. Anyways, dude, all I'm saying is that like I feel like if I was if I had some sort of TikTok fame now, I'd know what to do with it, dude. That's all I'm trying to say. If I had TikTok fame now, I'd, I would know. I would know that pfft, I would know what to do, man. That's a lie. I would have no idea what to do. What do you do if you're famous on TikTok, dude? There's not even like ads on TikTok. Like, what do you even, you know what I mean? How do you monetize that? That's why, that's why it's true when people say like some people are creative, but they're not good at making money at it. And that's real. And that's why managers exist because some people are like, who's creativity? <laughs> like your boy. Um, but they're not good at, you know, you know, coffees for closures, I guess. I don't even know what that phrase means, but uh, yeah. Yeah, anyways, your boy. Your boy out here making things is all I'm trying to say. Your boy out here on TikTok, too. And actually, I was one of those people that used to talk crap on TikTok. And I think I probably talked about it like, a few times on this podcast. But uh, Gary Vee got me on TikTok because he's an insane person and somehow gets people to do stuff with mind control through the air, through 5G, essentially. Gary Vee. Gary Vee. It rhymes, dude, so it has to be true. Okay, Gary Vee and 5G are controlling your mind. That's all you need to know. Because he got me to do TikTok, and I never thought in a year, billion years, I would be able to do TikTok um, mentally, even just get myself there. And I'm there. I'm on it. And it's actually hella fun. And I've been making funny skits on there, and I've been making funny stuff on there. And uh, I'm trying to do that more because I think it's really fun. I like limits, dude. Some people like to say they like no limits, but I like limits. Like I like when I'm creating something. I like to be in a little box. Put me in my box, dude. Put me in my box when I'm creating. And then I'll see what I could do with that box, you know what I mean? I'll make that box into an airplane. We'll fly away. We'll go somewhere, man. We'll go to the Bahamas. I don't even care. Um, Yeah, dude. Anyway, got new music out. I got to make more music, dude. I, I released all the music I have. All the music I've been sitting on, I, I've released all of it. So that's the thing. That's a real life thing I got to deal with now. I got to make more things because I've released all my things. What? And now you guys got to listen to more things? Yeah, that's how it works. You know, it never ends. Um, good thing your boy's reading War on Art, and uh, War on Art is going to get him through. He going to make more stuff because of War on Art. No, nah, dude, but for real, like, it's been cool. I've been I've been putting on music, and some people have been really liking it, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm happy, man. I like doing that. Um, it's been fun putting out stuff more than I wanted to. More than more than I wanted is out. Well, I can't, don't even know my own song title. Don't know my own podcast name. Don't know my own song title. Lost my mind. Going to shave my head. Got a Moses beard. It's all good. Um, Yeah. Uh, no, more than I wanted is out. Um, it's out now, which is cool. I really like that song. That was a fun one. I almost didn't release it, but I, I don't know why. Like looking back, that was dumb because that's one of my favorite ones. Uh, but 
I think I just had it in my head that everything has to be the deepest, most, most, uh, you gotta feel it. And um, I wasn't, you know, that song, it's a fun song, but that that's one of the reasons why I like it. But like the irony is, is that since it's not like a super, uh, you know, hit you in the gut, make you feel something song, like in the afternoon that I released, I was like, I can't release this. You know, it's just a fun pop song. And then like a bunch of people in my life who I love and trust were like, hey, you're an idiot. Just release it because it's a good song. <laughs> and a good song is a good song, uh, you know. And so your boy released it. And now it's awesome. And now it's out there in the world and you can listen to it right now. And now my advertisement for myself is over. Um, Anyways, uh, yeah, dude. Gonna shave my head. Um, yeah, you like how throughout this podcast at the beginning, I was like, dude, if I shave my head, it's a problem. And then now at the, at the end of this podcast, I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to shave my head. So you could tell that by the second, my brain is deteriorating by the second, my brain is literally melting into pudding. Uh, like, uh, Bernie Sanders would say like pudding, like my brain is starting to get the pudding. Um, Bernie Sanders is going to crack my head open like an egg and eat my brain like pudding. Um, and if, if me saying that isn't enough for you to honestly believe that Gary Vee is controlling people with my mind, <laughs> controlling people through 5G, then you don't know anything, dude. Um, Gary Vee is controlling people with 5G to be on TikTok. And I'm just saying it now, um, while I have my, my, um, protective earphones on so I can actually be real with you guys. And, um, Yeah. Years from now, when they find this tape. <laughs> Years from now, when they find this tape, they will know I, I, I knew the truth before anyone else. Gary V is controlling people's minds. I feel like it needs to be like a Blair Witch thing. Like, let me get really close. Like, let me get really close. Gary V is controlling people's minds with 5G to be on TikTok. camera angles too wide i can't i can't get i can't get off the camera angle i was running away but then it didn't work because this room is very small and the camera is very wide but dude um dude that is all i got for you today just know that my moses beard is coming to save everybody from covid and um for real though uh that is real and i'm growing it out for you guys it's for you it's not for me um, it's for you so you can look at my devilishly handsome good look on these uh, YouTube videos uh, every week, you know, uh, and if you're just listening again, well, I want to commend you for really just I want to commend you for not watching while you drive um, because you would be so distracted by my ruggishly handsome good looks that I know that it's too much for you. And I really appreciate I really appreciate your, your sacrifice for us. So thank you. Um, but just, you know, you can watch it later if you want to um, just, you know, um, your boys out here on YouTube. Uh, also on TikTok, apparently, because Gary G and 5G. Um, so, yeah, anyways, dudes, music's out. Gary G is controlling me with your 5G. Grow my Moses beard. Repeated that 15,000 times now at this point. Um, I'll see you later after I'm TikTok famous. And, uh, dudes, uh, I may have less hair. I may have less hair on my head next week. That might be reality that we live with, that I have less hair on my head next week. More on my face, less on my head. That's the motto. Uh, the weekends don't hit like they used to anymore. And also, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but I do have a routine. <laughs> so, uh, and I'll just leave you with those two thoughts for next week, man. Thank you guys for listening. Um, and, you know, like, subscribe, uh, and share it with somebody. Show somebody if you've been enjoying this podcast. I really appreciate you guys just coming on and joking around with me for a little bit of time each week. Um, it's been helping me keep some semblance of sanity, um, though it is slipping quickly. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Once more.